My first thought was, you know, what am I going to use a meter for? And after using it in the studio, as I was saying, we were joking, but it's, it's really like, how can you work without it? My name is Gordon Williams, professionally known as Commissioner Gordon. I'm an engineer and producer and um, here with uh, TC Electronic. It allows you to really pay attention more to, you know, what your level is going out, which sometimes for me as a producer, that would be more determined by mastering engineers. Now, you know, I pay more attention to it because of having such a, a, an accurate meter. I think that the Clarity TM is a very useful tool for producers, for engineers, because of the fact, um, first of all, it looks cool, but on top of looking cool, it uh, gives you um, a very detailed breakdown of what's happening program-wise. You know, in the real-time analyzer, you can really get a, a really good picture of what's happening with the mix frequency-wise, and very simple to kind of switch between that and, and looking at the, the radar, which gives you a level over time. So I think it's, um, it's a very useful tool. If I'm recording live, I use the RTA to kind of get an idea of what's happening on the floor, you know, frequency-wise, mixing totally, because, you know, many times we'll, we'll A, B between things that are commercially maybe released, even things that I've done in the past, as to the things that we're working on now. So we use the um, RTA to kind of compare what's happening across the board with you know, pre-recorded things as well as new things that we're working on. I use the radar meter to really, it's almost a, a tool to check myself, you know, when we're recording live or actually playing live. You know, if you're, if you're in the studio for a couple of hours, it's, you can get a little air fatigue and sometimes you don't really notice that you're pushing volume. And I found that having a meter that lets you see what you're doing over time has um, given me the ability to kind of check that, check myself, check what's happening music-wise, and as, as I said, particularly in live music. You know, if you have a band on the floor and guys are, you know, getting excited and volume is going up, you can quickly see what's happening. Well, I think now because we're so much in the box, you know, and doing things um, digitally, having a physical meter is great because it kind of connects you more to what's going on with your music as opposed to sometimes looking in Pro Tools, it's a little difficult to, well, you definitely are not as accurate. You know, that was one of the things I noticed right off the bat using the meter and then going back to looking at Pro Tools, how much of a difference there was between the, you know, the speed of the metering and the actual um, accuracy of what's happening in the program. Because of the fact that there's so many platforms that we're delivering directly to digitally, that knowing where you are level-wise um, kind of cuts out the having to maybe redo something because you delivered it a little too loud, because you know maybe for YouTube it's a different volume than what you would maybe deliver to a mastering engineer, and that might be totally different than say a client who wants a quick mastering for themselves to maybe put something up on iTunes. So now we're acting more as mixers and mastering engineers and producers all in one. So having the, the flexibility to have a meter that can kind of let you know exactly where you are, I think it's super important. Clarity M improves the mix by, you know, making you focus on the mix, focusing on what's happening frequency-wise. Like for example, now I'll switch between listening to YouTube, even, even preparing for this interview as we were getting our levels together, it just surprised me how loud YouTube was coming through, um, coming through my little console here. Um, and I never actually paid attention to that. Having the metering now let me see, oh, okay, well, you know what? It was a little crunchy, it was a little loud, and could bring it back and get a better picture of what's coming out sonically. So all across the board, I think it's approved what, we, what we're doing here in the studio.